You took you, you had an amazing streak, like nine and a third hitless innings. Uh, what was going well with you for you during that streak? Um, I would just say being confident in my stuff. Um, Coach Gaines has been calling a really good game, and I think that this week's emphasis was just getting in, and we focused on that a lot during the bullpen, and then that pitch just kind of like going right after him. Like it's freezing, they didn't really want to hit, and I kind of used that to my advantage. Can you talk about the emotions of that fifth inning where you lost the perfect game, then you got it back after the review, and then things kind of went awry after that? Yeah, um, I would say in that moment, like the emotions just kind of got a hold of me there. Um, you know, I, sometimes I play with a lot of emotion, and obviously that being a reverse cold strike, I think that it just got the best of me there, and I take that one. That's on me. Just kind of more of a big picture thing. Um, we've been talking a lot about just changes in the game in terms of pitch clock. You guys kind of have the, um, is it like watches that you do now? Yeah. Um, how has that just impacted you as a pitcher? Um, we, as a staff, like we mm-hmm. really like it. Um, it allows us to kind of like roll through, kind of keeps us in our rhythm. Whereas like you get a runner on second before these, you, you're looking at five, six different signs. And mm-hmm. if you want to shake them off, it's a whole, kind of got to step off, but I think it really speeds up the game. and I think it helps the pitchers a lot. It kind of makes the hitters a little bit uncomfortable when you're kind of rolling too. You can kind of just quickly go from pitch to pitch. In terms of like the mental side of the game, does it help out in terms of, yeah, just like not having to think about as many things and just yeah. streamlining it? Yeah, I mean, I feel like it helps a ton. Um, you know, there's different sign systems and I remember last year running around second, we'd have four or five different run around second signs and it kind of takes your thoughts away from the hitter at some points, just kind of trying to remember which sign mm-hmm. system, and then I think it eliminates the cross-ups for the most part, and that helps the catchers a lot. I think your first pitch strike percentage has been kind of hovering around like 70% or so, like all season, which would be a big improvement from last year mm-hmm. as well. I think, you know, again, that was a big part today. I mean, is that simply just being more aggressive? Is there more to it than that? Yeah, I, um, I would say just being aggressive. Um, like you said, just making sure I win one of the first two pitches. That's been Coach Kane's emphasis all year is win the, one of the first two pitches, even if it's not the first one, and I think that – that really helps you just kind of get in the mindset of once you get ahead, the yeah, bat's kind of in your hands. I think that helps a lot. Okay. Thanks. 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 All right, so I can start. <laughs> so, yeah, um, just kind of going through some of the at bats you had, you had the really hard hit. I believe, was it to? Third, third, right. Yeah. What was your reaction? I mean, very well hit, but obviously they were able to make a play on it. Yeah, I mean, it was a good play. It was kind of right at him, but um, I was trying to move the ball there. Um, I got one out, I think. I got one out, and uh, I had a pretty good stuff, but I was trying to move the ball and hit it hard. I did, just unfortunate. Yeah, and then following that up with pretty soon after the double, just what was your mm-hmm. reaction? You know, kind of saw some of the celebration on second base. Just take me through the emotions of that. Yeah, I mean, I was kind of surprised I got by him. I mean, I hit it hard again. Um, but again, it's a good job by the guys getting on in front of me. Um, they give me that opportunity again to make up for it. Yeah, and just again, follow up on that. A little bit of like a celebration, kind of like doing this on the base. <laughs> Could you explain that? Uh, well, I'm Italian, and uh, Nelson Berkwich and I we cook a lot together chicken parm and stuff like that and he's like if you had a double today you should do that so <laughs> it's like the Italian thing right. so that's why I did it yeah. yeah speaking specifically about your transition from first to third base how has that kind of been over the last two games for mm-hmm. you yeah I mean I've been moving around my whole time here um and it's it's difficult but again I've got to work at every position if I want to get on the field um and I'm, I, I wouldn't say I'm new to there, but it's uh, it's definitely different. So I just got to keep working on that um, throughout the year. And you've been doing well at third, but just kind of some frustrating plays tonight. Uh, just, just baseball? Yeah, I mean, I, I hesitated on the second ball. Um, first ball kind of went in the dirt. Uh, I kind of rushed myself. So it's something I just got to work on throughout the season. You guys, I mean, there's obviously a lot of pieces on this team where it could be a really elite defensive unit. I mean, mm-hmm. is there maybe kind of finding like a middle balance between trying to make the really fantastic plays and also just maybe just making the solid plays, I guess? Yeah, I mean, every position is different. Um, yeah. So 
yeah, like obviously you want to make the great plays, but you got to make the you know, the fundamental plays that you know, get the easy out stuff like that. But um, yeah, tonight I just felt like I was a little rushed out there on defense, and uh, you know I just got to learn from it and continue to work at third. So. Yeah. <laughs> how do you how do you think that defensively as a whole you guys are gonna learn? I mean, you tied your series high of four errors tonight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean it's just learning from it, like I said, but um. Is taking taking it serious in pregame when we work on our defense and you know in practice when we work on it. And we know we're gonna put up runs. It's just a matter of making the plays, you know, pitching and defending to help us win. So we, we talked after the you know, the Virginia series there where you had that first home run about just kind of mm -hmm. easing your way back. And it seems like you know especially since then I think it's a ten for your last twenty seven or something like that. Just mm -hmm. how are you progressively just feeling more and more comfortable up there at the plate? Yeah, I mean, it's it's the biggest thing for me is just having like perspective and not really letting the moment get to me yeah. because, I, like I said, uh, against that Virginia game, uh, like I sat out for a long time and now I'm in there, so I'm just gonna take advantage of all the opportunities I had. You know, it just feels good to be back out playing. You know, just be happy out there playing, have a good time. As you've been easing back into the game, are there any teammates that you've been talking to a lot, members of the coaching staff that have kind of offer you advice, help you through that? Yeah, I mean, everyone's kind of been supportive of, of me because of what, you know, that happened to me. It came out of nowhere or whatever, but um, mm -hmm. there's no one in specific. Um, yeah. I would say everyone's kind of been there for me, and it, and it feels good to have the, you know, the support we have here. You know, the team's good, like, good chemistry-wise, and I'm thankful for that. Yeah. Do, I guess, hits, you know, <coughs> today, obviously, outcome, not what you wanted, but mm -hmm. um, making big plays like that, does it have sort of a different, like, feeling? to it just given like what you've you know gone through like not being able to play so many yeah games. yeah I mean I'm older now so like I've learned from failure and when I do well like you know I've been there before but yeah it, it definitely puts a different toll on like when you do well you feel better about yourself and you feel like you're gonna help the team win opposed to when you're just sitting out or not playing whatever you can't really do much so it's kind of it's kind of hard but it feels good to be back out there okay, thanks,